All right, lesson one, part B. Um, more vocabulary for you. So I wanted to break it up, give you some time to practice what you learned in the first video. And now you're ready for more. So collinear. And it looks like collinear, but it's pronounced collinear. So collinear, you remember linear, linear functions? That just means line, straight line. So collinear points are points on the same line. So points A, P, Q, and B, we would call collinear because they all exist on the same line. Plane. Through any three non-collinear points, there is exactly one plane. So three non-collinear points, which means they don't all exist on the same line. This extends infinitely and is two-dimensional. So think parallelogram, rectangle, um, your coordinate plane. It uses the word plane in it because it is a plane. Um, and as you can see, we have to name a plane, you can name, name it by the letter that'll be in the corner with no point next to it. You see how there's no point, which means it's not a coordinate point. So we can name it plane M, or you can name it by three of the points that exist on the plane. So point A, B, C would make it plane A, B, C. Coplanar are points on the same plane. So you can see we would have points C, B, and E are coplanar because they exist on the blue plane. And then points D and A would be coplanar because they exist on the yellow plane. Let's practice. So give two other names for line PQ. So we're going back to where we were at before. So we have line PQ. Now this is something I didn't mention in the first video, but sometimes lines will have a little letter right next to it that's not capitalized, and it has no point next to it. So we can also name this line N. So that's one name for line PQ. Another name would just be to switch those letters around, and it'd be line QP. Notice that that N cannot go in this um, label because it does not have a point to it. It's not a point. It's just a label for the line. So sometimes using the points can get a little confusing, so we like to clear it up and just label things very smallly and simplistically. So sometimes that's the way we label it. All right, so the next one is give two other names for plane R. So plane R, we see the R in the corner, so we know that it's this plane right here. So we can name it by any three coplanar points that exist on the plane. So we know that V, Q, P, and S exist on the plane. We can't use T because it is not in the plane. Now we're not going to use all four of the points because we only need three points to name a plane. Three points to name that plane. So you can use any combination of those three points. You could name it plane uh, VPS or plane QPV. Really, any three any combination of those three letters in any order would work. Name three points that are collinear. Remember, collinear means existing on the same line. So if we look at our, our image. If we see line N only has two points on it, but if we look at line M, it has three points on it. So those three points would be collinear, so S, P, and T are collinear points. And lastly, name four points that are coplanar. Remember, coplanar means existing on the same plane. So those are those four points we could have used to name the plane. So we have point V, Q, S, and P. Those all are points that are on the plane. That is all of lesson one for you. Go ahead and complete practice 1B and then try to demonstrate.